Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and this video is a fan request after I watched Sam Sulek have breakfast at the Arnold Classic. Now several YouTube channels have criticised Sam Sulek's diet after his diet videos went viral on YouTube, specifically those from Greg Duche, which I think are completely fine, considering that Sam appeals to a demographic of young athletes that are obviously impressed by his physique. In his viral videos, we have seen Sam down chocolate milk by the leaders and eat five servings of cinnamon toast crunch with whole milk as his breakfast and pre-workout meal alone, and a protein drink post-workout, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, and on top of that, would eat burgers, fries, and a soda post-workout and, and later finish off with crispy cream donuts and more whole milk. As expected, many channels made reaction videos recommending against such a diet, and in all honesty, I would also advise against such a diet too. It's not healthy at all. And personally, I think the intention of these many reaction videos was to both educate the fitness community and even help Sam Sulek make better dietary decisions. But the question is, has Sam actually learned anything from these reaction videos? It would be great to see a positive change in his diet. Fortunately, Sam Sulek was invited to the Arnold Classic in the UK, which I attended. And well, I can tell you that at the Arnold Classic, I met and spoke to Sam and even watched him have breakfast as we both had breakfast at the same time. So what did Sam Sulek have for breakfast at the Arnold Classic? Well, believe it or not, he served himself a varied selection of chopped fruit, including citrus, in a small dessert plate. He then grabbed a larger dish and served himself three hash browns and two large serving spoons of scrambled eggs, which filled about half of the plate, as in the eggs filled about half of the plate, and the other half was the uh, hash browns. He then went back to the smorgasbord and selected three plain bread rolls and chose a variety of fruit conserves, like jams, to go with his bread rolls. And he also served himself a glass or two of fruit juice, if I recall. In all honesty, I was very impressed with his careful selection of food. And having seen what he ate several months ago on YouTube, this did look like a much better selection of food. I mean, he is now at least eating scrambled eggs and fruit for breakfast, and that has to be much better than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and also much better than half a gallon of chocolate milk. In my opinion, it does seem that Sam is starting perhaps to listen to the concern that is being raised by many channels, and perhaps has made a turn for the better. At the end of the day, our concern is only for his health. However, before we all get happy and go and pat, you know, Sam on the back, <laughs> I have to report that I also saw what he ate for dinner, or maybe it was lunch, I'm not sure. Can't remember. It was definitely Papa and John's Pizza. And although Papa John's is one of the best known pizza restaurant chains around the world, it is not necessarily the most healthiest food option for lunch or dinner, especially for a bodybuilder. Here is Sam with Lex Little and Greg Duche, and you can clearly see Sam with his Papa John's pizza. Personally, I would rather have chosen some chicken, steak or fish, and a natural source of carbohydrate like potatoes, rice, so many of them, with some steamed vegetables for both lunch and dinner. And definitely not pizza like Papa John's, but that's just me. So although it seems that Sam's breakfast has improved significantly, from his previous chocolate milk and cinnamon toast crunch fest. <laughs> it doesn't appear to me, at least, that he is eating much better overall. I, like most other fitness influencers, hope that Sam's diet can change for the better. Meeting Sam, I, like everyone else, have realized that Sam is a well-spoken and highly intelligent gentleman, and we only wish him health and success. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on Sam Sulek's breakfast and dinner or lunch. And I hope that those that requested this video are satisfied with this report. I don't typically talk much about modern bodybuilding or modern bodybuilders on this channel, but I did find this particular topic interesting, seeing that diet and health are so interrelated and have much to do with one's bodybuilding success. 
as it is an integral part of our recovery and muscle building process and our overall health. Vince Gironda did once say that bodybuilding is 80% nutrition. So there you go. If you have enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, subscribe and leave me your comments. In the next video, I plan to continue with the Ken Waller series and later begin the series of videos on organ meats, exercise demonstrations, which I promised, and bodybuilding health. So please stay tuned. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Head to www.goldenerabookworm.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal, high quality bodybuilding posters of the Golden Era stars, merchandise, and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eder, John Grimmick, Reg Park, and many other Golden Era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the Golden Era stars are also available, and to collaborate, please get in touch.